guys and welcome back today we've got a clip from back in spain when i went in october 2020 so this is basically a big chinese bazaar so they import everything from china so they can sell it really cheaply you usually find a lot of the smaller stores around where my land lives but they we found this massive one i can't even explain it was as big as the local supermarkets back home so obviously they had all the christmas stuff and if i had a bigger suitcase i probably would have brought it all home I loved uh, so much of it, it was just so cute and most of it you wouldn't find back in the UK. These gnomes or gonks have been everywhere this Christmas and these were just so cute. They were quite heavy and obviously I would have brought one home otherwise if they weren't. They were quite big and bulky and they, but they were only 850 much like this snowman who if he hadn't had such a heavy bottom I would have brought home as well. He was just so soft and I just couldn't stop stroking him every time I walked past. Mum kept telling me off because obviously of Covid. So I needed to stop touching things. But yeah, these were also £8.50 and they sat on your shelf so they were all weighted. But they were just all so cute. Everything in the shop was actually really well made and to be honest it was just quite adorable. The Christmas aisle in this store just went on forever. There was so much. You had kind of the classic Christmas with obviously these Santas and I loved this plane as well but it did light up so it wasn't really suitable for me to bring home unfortunately so we had these really 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 cute gonk gnomes whatever you want to call them they remind me of the reindeer feeder that i reviewed and then obviously we went a bit further into the store and you had just aisles and aisles of santas and decorations and baubles and lights and the whole store down the middle had all the trees and then we hit kind of the normal shop so with the i suppose touristy tat i suppose you'd call it shop glasses you've got the spoon stands you've got the magnets etc but obviously that's kind of what we love about these stores is the fact that you can get stuff that you might not be able to get elsewhere well, you know we could have even brought home a light up christmas tree but i don't feel like they would have allowed that on the plane it was slightly large and a bit obnoxious to be honest but yeah this store you can kind of see the back of it when i pan round but it is honestly just huge i picked up this really cute hat for no real reason it was originally going to be for cody but then i decided against it because i wanted it and yeah so we just got lost in the christmas aisle and ended up picking up loads of bits and pieces nearly all this aisle was under 10 euros to be honest most of it was probably under five especially these decorations they were literally all under five euros which if you bought them in the range or dunelm or even home bargains they'd probably cost you between five and ten pounds but yeah i just we loved it we will be going back next time we go out there to see what else they have throughout the year obviously that might not be this year because of covid but we will see when we obviously are allowed out but yeah we absolutely loved it it was a brilliant store we were in there for a, a good hour or so and to be honest if we had room in our suitcase we probably would have been in there longer but maybe it was a blessing in disguise that we weren't and we had full suitcases when we arrived so that is my little tour of the spanish chinese bazaar shop I don't know how to say it in Spanish, so apologies if that's not actually what it translates to, but it's what we call it in our house. After we left here, we went round to the beach at El Panet, which is about a 10 minute drive from here. So if you're aware of kind of the area location, then it's a good stop off on the way to the beach or on the way back. But yeah, I have included some clips from the beach, so I just thought you guys might like to see how quiet and peaceful it was. But yeah, stay safe guys, and I will see you in the next video.